Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Peterson Luminex 7 Diode Trailer Taillight. This is going to take care of our taillight function. It's going to take care of our turn signal and also our brakes. Now, with this light, it's going to fit into the standard 6-inch oval light grommet. The grommet's not included, but we do have that available. And it's going to allow for a nice secure fit, but as you can see, also gives it a little bit of cushion there. So as they get bounced around and jarred, they tend not to take a lot of that impact. Now this is going to be a weatherproof light. You can see with the LED lights that come across here, it's fully sealed on that back side. So regardless of road conditions, regardless of weather, we're not going to have to worry about any moisture getting in here and causing us issues like what we had, used to get with our incandescent lights. Now another few advantages I see with the LED lights over the older incandescent lights are one, they're much more clean and bright light. Um, they give off a lot of light and they don't use a whole lot of power. So, you know, we've got LED lights all over this trailer and just doesn't use all that much power. So even with a vehicle that's say putting out four and a quarter amps or whatever for our running lights, you got plenty of power to use them and they last so much longer. Uh, I can't count how many times I've been getting ready to go fishing and there's a light out here or a light out there on the boat trailer because they get wet, they get corroded. With these, you just don't have to worry about it, really. There's no bulb and socket that gets corroded and doesn't have a connection anymore. They just tend to be pretty maintenance-free. There's no changing, no socket grease or anything like that. They work every time you plug it in, and I think that's a big advantage. You can enjoy what you're getting ready to do rather than spend a half hour, 45 minutes tracing wires and trying to figure out where your problem is. The lens itself is a nice, durable acrylic lens, and you can see each of the the diodes kind of has some lines going around it. That helps to spread that energy out or that light out over a greater area and really lights up the whole lens. I'm a big fan of the way this one works. Now it is designed to work with only 12 volt. We do have one of these designed with 10 LEDs that's designed to work with 12 or 24 volt system. So if you're looking for a 24 volt setup, go with the 10 LED model. It'll suit your purpose there. Or if you just want a little bit more light here on the back, that's, that one does a really great job as well. Now to get our new light installed, of course, we need to get our old one out of the way. Basically, all of these lights fit into the same size grommet. So if your grommet's in good shape, you're just gonna pop out your old one, pop in your new one. We do have these grommets available if yours is old, broken, if it's getting real hard and brittle. It's a good idea to replace it, but set this aside, let's get that one popped out. Now a lot of times with these, if you have access to the back, just kind of push out from the back, do one side first, then the other. You can see they're gonna pop out of there pretty good. And likely, because most of these do use the same one, let me use this to get it off. You're gonna have this kind of plug on the back already, and if your light's working out fine, that's awesome, because all we have to do is now plug this in to our new light. Now, if you don't have this plug, we have this pigtail available on our website. It's gonna have three wires coming off the back of it. You're gonna have a white. That needs to go to a ground source. You're going to have a red. That'll go to your turn and to your brake light. That's our yellow wire here. And then you'll have a black, and that's gonna to go to your running light signal. So it's a pretty straightforward installation. And once you have this on there, generally, 95% of these oval lights are going to have that plug. We do have some that has a reverse light signal here. It uses a slightly different plug, but the rest of them are going to be pretty consistent. It's just a matter of bringing that in, getting it lined up, and then just sliding it on closed. We're pushing it on in there. Just like that. That's swapped out. I like to clean any of the dirt and debris out of there so it doesn't hold moisture or anything and then we'll just get it slid back into position we'll head over to the other side and do that same thing be ready to get them tested out now with both of our lights installed we're going to use our trailer tester here and test them out you could just as easily hook up to your vehicle and run through the lights that way start with our tail lights we got our left turn signal our brakes and our right turn signal. Everything's working fine. 
Overall, guys, I really like this light. I think you will too. I think especially if you're coming from an incandescent going to this, you're really gonna like it because you're not gonna have any problems. This would definitely be something I would own and have on my trailer.